Citizens and residents of Antigua and Barbuda, the leadership and members of the Democratic National Alliance, DNA, extend New Year's greetings to you and wish you a year filled with opportunities, promise and success. Last year, we implored you to ask yourself one question. Do I have the courage to change our political destiny? Today, that question has become more urgent. As the general elections approach, we beg you to summon the will and the courage to make history in our country and the Caribbean by changing the course of our political destiny and elect the DNA to government. Let us together send a resounding message that the two-party system has systemically failed us and that the DNA is the only option for Antigua and Barbuda now. In the spirit and tradition of New Year resolutions, let us be brutally honest with ourselves. Let us put down our politically partisan behavior. Let us reflect objectively and dispassionately about the past eight years of the Gaston Brown-led administration. If we can be truthful to ourselves, we will admit to an unprecedented increase in crime, corruption, nepotism, unbridled self-enrichment, numerous government failures, and continuing poor economic performance of the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party government. Their boast of Antigua and Barbuda being an economic powerhouse has proven to be the biggest fraud perpetrated against the people. Over the last eight years of Gaston Brown's governance, he has failed to supply one of the very basic yet essential commodities to the people, a reliable, uninterrupted supply of potable water to every home and business. Likewise, for the last 41 years, in spite of the millions collected in taxes, our road infrastructure, especially our secondary and feeder roads, remain in a deplorable to non-existent state in communities such as Bath Lodge, Sweets, Mock Pond, Montrula, Renfew, Gonthorps, and Lightfoot, to name a few. Further, 41 years later, our educational system remains archaic and has failed to prepare our youth to embrace and succeed in the new emerging, technologically driven world and for the new economy which our country must pursue. Sadly, we continue to fail our students whose interests are not aligned with mainstream teaching but who are artistic, creative and innovative and ready to work in the orange economy and the technical and vocational sectors. My people, we deserve better. For the last eight years, the ABLP government has committed treason openly against the state and our people by the callous, wicked, purposeful and reckless mass giveaway of our prime lands and assets to so-called foreign investors. The Gaston Brown government was busy empowering and enriching dubious investors with no proven track record of success. The most recent assault involves the Western Imperial Special Economic Zone, where excessive and outrageous tax incentives brought no tangible benefits to anyone except for the Prime Minister, who rented his home to the developer for about US$20,000 a month. And in spite of the widely aired public concerns regarding the ecological sensitivity of the area, the Gaston Brown administration turned a blind eye to the blatant flouting of our environmental and development laws by these developers. The Antiguan Barbuda led Gaston Brown administration refuses to create a level playing field for all investors, especially our local investors. Over the past eight years, we witnessed the unprecedented giveaway of our principal cruise tourism revenue earner, the St. John's Port of Entry, to global ports. Similarly, in more recent times, we have seen the giveaway of 15 plus years of taxes to a politically aligned investor. Unconscionably, for the past eight years, Gaston Brown has repeatedly refused to pay local creditors who are mostly small and medium business persons and whose businesses are teetering on the brink of collapse. 
Some are owed millions and millions of dollars, and the members of the cabinet are comfortable being tone deaf to the plight of these local businesses. Recall that in 2020 and 2021, we witnessed the government's gross mismanagement of the COVID-19 pandemic by its now infamous preferred hit and miss approach to the control and spread of the virus. In the face of numerous appeals by the DNA for public consultations on the management of the pandemic, the government remained tone deaf to any offer of help outside its cult, choosing instead to remain comfortably seated in the echo chamber of the cabinet. When the efforts failed to add insult to injury and suffering, let us never forget that the Gaston Brown-led administration held our people hostage on a never-ending state of emergency and unjustified curfew and imposed several mandates on the people and trampled our constitutional rights. In fact, to this day, Liet workers continue to languish and many public servants have not been paid their salaries and wages. All these workers continue to experience serious hardships. Dustin Brown and Malwin Joseph are uncaring, unconscionable and heartless. Similarly, let us not forget that the reckless Gaston Brown-led administration refused to offer any form of relief to households and businesses when they were most vulnerable. My people, you have the courage to change and redirect our political destiny by voting for the DNA. Prior to the onset of the pandemic, our economy was on the verge of collapse due to the government's reckless mismanagement of our resources and our people continue to be plagued by massive unemployment and underemployment. Thousands of workers employed directly and indirectly within the tourism and related sectors remain hopeless. Unprecedented poverty and malnutrition among our people have now become our reality. The escalating cost of living, failure to pay pensioners on time, and the corresponding social dislocations experienced by the most vulnerable in our society have become the new normal in our country. Let us not forget that when the global price of oil was at a historical low, the government failed to reduce the high prices of electricity, gas, diesel and LPG. Despite all of this, the Gaston Brown administration has now further insulted the people with a meager 80 cents increase in the minimum wage. The glaring abuse of the Barbudan people and the raping of the lands on our sister isle continue unabated. The government's promise to rebuild Barbuda and transform the island into a green, resilient paradise are empty words. We repeat our ongoing demand for the Gaston Brown administration to provide a full independent accounting to the public of the resources received and spent or distributed, whether in cash or kind, following the passage of Hurricane Irma in 2017. Good governance demands no less. Citizens and residents, your courage to change requires that on January 18th, 2023, you reject Brownism and elect a fresh, new and dynamic political party, the DNA and usher in a new era of good governance, accountability, and integrity in public life, where our motto, prosperity for all, will be experienced by our people. Neither Gaston Brown nor his ministers have any real, sustainable plan for national and community development or advancement. They continue to experiment with our lives and our livelihoods, with their failed economic and financial models to rescue our economy and society. Chief among which is the bartering of our passport like a cheap commodity to millionaires and billionaires, some of whom use our passports for dubious purposes. Citizens and residents, 2023 must be the year of decisive action. Let us demonstrate courage and commitment to change our political destiny. A DNA government will ensure that good governance is the minimum standard. 
we will implement the parish council system of local government to enhance national and community development. You will experience a country where our leaders show respect to all and lead by example, and where a diversified economy works for all, and where people experience our nation's motto, each endeavoring all achieving. The DNA assures you that the challenges facing us are not insurmountable. We want our people to experience transformational leadership where there is no room for intimidation, coercion, abuse, and violence. As a transformational leader, I, Joanne Marine Masayo, will welcome any Antiguan and Barbudan into my space and will never threaten to thump anyone in their face. Further, while meeting with you, I will never brandish a gun to intimidate you. We commit to you that our priorities in government will be reducing the cost of living, diversifying our economy to facilitate the growth of new and emerging disciplines, redesigning of our educational system, investment in technology and innovation, implementing strategies to reduce unemployment, redress of outstanding issues burdening our public servants, reforming our judicial and penal systems, comprehensive constitutional reform, putting an immediate end to the nepotism, corruption, and disrespect so pervasive in the government and rampant in our society by establishing the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and pass whistleblower legislation. As a dynamic, new and conscientious political organization, determined to deliver our motto, Prosperity for All, the DNA has designed an architectural blueprint for our country's sustainable and economic development, which we proudly call Vision 2040. Let us be resolved to restoring our pride and sovereignty. The sacrifices of our for parents demand it. Our independence and survival require that we act upon it. We are duty bound to leave a rich, lasting and proud legacy for future generations who must have something tangible to continue to defend our democracy. On election day, let us collectively reject the tyrannical, autocratic and dictatorial behavior which the Gaston Brown administration demonstrates for the world to see. Let us be encouraged by the words so eloquently expressed in Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 6, verse 9, which reads, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. May God continue to bless Antigua and Barbuda. Happy New Year.